Hi, this is Bob Wilson with Coyote Stencil Shop 3. We've had some customers requesting that they um, learn how to, to arc or arch um, letters uh, so that they can put them on circular items. We don't have um, arching or, or text editing to that level on Coyote 3, but there is a workaround on this. Let me show you how we do it. You'll notice that I've got the word Coyote up here, and each one of these letters I've been making individually um, because, and that way you can see that you're going to be working with each one of them. First thing I do is I go out to uh, the shapes. You'll see they don't change. It goes to circle. Um, I'm going to just draw a circle out here. This is just simply a guide. I'm going to unfill it. Simply a guide for us to use, but nonetheless a good guide. From there we would grab uh, one of these letters and you set it approximately where it should be. And in fact, since most of these letters are round, I'll just start setting them up there. And you'll see, you'll notice that they're not oriented correctly, but we're going to show you how to orient them correctly. Um, let me grab these letters and dip. Set them out here. Now let me show you what we're going to do here. You can tell that if you line them up, you can you can pick up the alignment, and then you can also set them on this circle as close to the, the edge as you want. But let me show you what I'm talking about. You come back down over here to the right, and you'll see that you've got flip, mirror, rotate, and rotate, uh, and you can set the number of degrees. I'm going to show you what I mean by rotate. When I click on the rotate button, watch this E. You'll see that it reverses itself. And that's because every time you click on it, it's going to rotate at 180 degrees. I'll give you another example of that. Every time I click it now, it's going to rotate at 90 degrees. I'm going to show you another one. Every time I click it now, it's going to rotate at 45 degrees. You set it up here, and you use it that way to be able to rotate it so that it rotates evenly around the, uh, the arc of that circle. I'm going to change this down to about um, 20, and we're going to rotate it again. And then one more time, and you can see now that that's pretty much where it needs to be. You come back over, you grab the, uh, the, the uh, now you see, I don't know, let's zoom in for a second. I'm going to zoom in to a tighter level of it, and you can see it a little bit better. But you can see there's a distance right between here and here that's a little bit wider than there and there. All you do is you come down here and change it down to, let's say, 3, and rotate it until you think you've got it. That's just about right. So now you come back up to this next letter, set it up there, you set it up to probably, I'm going to go 45 on this thing. And that was too much. So if you get too much, back up with your, your, with your, your, your reverse button, change it down to 20, rotate it, rotate it again, too far, come back, back it up, drop it down to 3, or even 1 if you need to, and just ease it in there. And what you got to do is, is you just click on it until you think it's right. And then you go back through each one of those individually. And once they're even with this thing, then you can set it right on the edge. And you see I'm setting it right on the edge of that circle. Grab this one set it right on that edge. Go to the next one. Set it up for somewhere in that range, 20. Too far. We're going to have to back it up a little bit. Set it for 10. And rotate it, rotate it, yep, too far, back it up. Bet you could have figured out I was going to do that, didn't you? Now it's just about where it should be. Grab it, set it down right on that edge. Okay. And then you're off to the Y. Rotate, too far. Actually, you know what we're going to do, the, the Y, with, because you're on the other side of the arch, now you have to rotate it a different way. So we're going to come back out here and go 45, rotate, 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 rotate. Step it down, go to 5. And there it is. Grab it. Set it right down on that edge and go to the next one. Five, rotate. Five. Mm. 
Never put this one there upside down, actually. There it is. Set it down. Grab the C. Rotate it. That one actually looks pretty good right there. Now, we've got everything rotated. I'm going to come back out and grab this one. You will see that it picks each one of these up, too, as you highlight it. You, uh, you highlight the T. The T becomes highlighted. You highlight the shape, or you select the shape. It becomes highlighted. Then just reach up, delete that shape, and there it is. Coyote. Rotated the way it should be. Now, you can undo. If you don't like your spacing, undo and come back up here and start moving characters around so that it's even which is probably a little better right there, then get rid of the shape and you go, that's it. Get rid of that one permanently. And that's a workaround for um, Coyote. You can actually go in and print these out as each one is a layer, or you can rasterize them. Um, and as you rasterize them, then you can merge them down. Uh, you rasterize them, and once you rasterize, because they are actually um, uh, vector in their uh, in their um, starting point, then you can, um, like I said, you can merge them down. So you go back up to the Y, and now you can merge it down, and the Y and the I think the O become one, and you just make the whole thing like that. There you go. The Y and the E are, are one. And then you can move the whole thing as you want in one piece. When I made the selection for the letters, I just clicked on the letter here. I clicked up here. I hit my cap locks because I wanted this whole thing in caps. I select the size. And let's make a letter that we haven't done before. Let's make an M. And I also chose before that, look over here. I went out and selected the same color because you can actually set these colors out there with a border on them or not. I'm going to check. I'm going to click. I'm going to hit cancel here and show you what I'm talking about. You can chose to have this, the you know, outside edge red, inside blue. Now when you make a letter, you come out and make this, you'll see that it comes out with a red outside and a blue inside. It's not necessarily when you're going to be cutting them out, but you can actually do that and work with that too in terms of what you want to cut. But that pretty much sums up what's going on with uh, Coyote Stencil Shop and uh, and making arched letters or text uh, for different projects. I hope that's a benefit to you.